This is the solution video for question five from paper two of the 2019 TMUA or CTMUA exam. In this question, we're told A, B and N are all positive integers. And we're asked to consider the following statement. A times B or AB is divisible by N. And then we're told about the condition either A or B is divisible by N. And we're asked, is this necessary but not sufficient for star? Sufficient but not necessary for star? Necessary and sufficient for star? Or neither necessary nor sufficient for the condition star? So we need to look at sufficiency and necessity in this question. So let's start with sufficiency. So let's suppose A or B is divisible by N. So we're assuming this condition and we're going to have a look if star is true. So if A or B is divisible by N, what does this mean? Well, we know this means A is CN or B is CN for some C where C is some positive integer. Uh, which is exactly what divisibility means because A divisible by N means it's equal to some lots of N. And we're just calling C that however many lots it is. So if this is true, this means AB is BCN or AB is ACN. Uh, simply times in both sides by B here and times in both sides by A. So it doesn't really matter which case we're in, because in either case we've got AB is equal to BC, which is some uh, positive integer, lots of N, or AB is equal to AC, which is some positive integer, lots of N. So in either case, AB is divisible by N. So we've assumed this case, assume this, either A or B is divisible by N, and argued and proved that AB then must be divisible by N. So we certainly have sufficient. Now, necessity. So we have necessity if we have AB is divisible by N implies either A or B is divisible by N. Now, instinctively, this doesn't feel true because AB divisible by N, if a product is divisible by something, it doesn't necessarily uh, seem, or at least obviously seem, that if we broke up the products, that it would still be divisible, either of the things. So we, we know we're going to have a problem when n is equal to ab or close to ab. So let's look at an example of a is 2, b is 2, n is 4. And we're aiming for a counterexample here to start implying either a or b is divisible by n. So here, ab is 4 and n is 4. So we know a, b divisible by n is a true statement. So what about either a or b is divisible by n? Well, we know this is false because 4, because 2 isn't divisible by 4, and so a isn't divisible by n and b isn't divisible by n. And so we found a case where star is true, but either a or b is divisible by n isn't, which implies we do not have necessity. So if we look, we have sufficient, but not necessary, so this matches option B in our multiple choice, and so our final answer is B.